हेलो फ्रेंड्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड रेस्पेक्टेड व्यूवर्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन दिस क्वेश्चन ट्रायंगल ए बी सी इज गिवन साइड्स ए बी बी सी एंड सी ए आर गिवन अकॉर्डिंग टू द डायग्राम सिक्स फाइव एंड फोर रिस्पेक्टिवली एंड ए डी इज हाफ ऑफ डी बी इज गिवन एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द लेंथ ऑफ सी डी वी हैव टू सोल्यूशन हाउ टू डू हाउ टू फाइंड द लेंथ ऑफ सी डी वन यूजिंग स्टिवर्ड थेरम एंड द अदर यूजिंग हेरोन्स फॉर्मूला सो फर्स्ट वी विल डू बाई यूजिंग स्टिवर्ड थेरम इन स्टिवर्ड थेरम इफ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी इज लाइक दिस एंड डी इज एनी पॉइंट ऑन द बेस बी सी सच दैट बी डी इज टू डी सी इज सम गिवेन रेशियो इफ इट इज एम एंड दिस इज एन इफ इट इज बी एंड दिस इज सी Let us suppose this is x. So, according to Stewart's theorem, m b square m into b square plus n into c square that is equal to sum of m and n that is m plus n into this a d square which is x square here. and plus m into n this is well known stewart theorem if we use here since ad is half of db and this whole thing is 6 so this is one part this is two parts so three parts of 6 is 2 2 2 this is 2 and this is 4 Since AD is half DB, so this will be two and this will be four. So by using this Stewart theorem, this four into four square plus this two into five square, and that is equal to sum of these two, which is full length of AB, which is six, and this CD square, which is X square. If this C D is X plus product of these two ratio parts two into four, which is eight. This is sixty four because four cube is sixty four plus twenty five into two is fifty six X square plus forty eight. After simplification, we are getting six X square is equal to sixty six. Which gives x square as eleven, and C D, which is x, that is equal to square of eleven units, and this is the answer. This is the required length of C D, square root of eleven units. If we use Heron's formula for area, square root of s s minus a s minus b s minus c. Here perimeter is four plus five nine nine plus six fifteen fifteen by two, so that is square root of fifteen by two into fifteen by two minus five, which is ten five by two, and fifteen minus four fifteen by by two minus four, so seven by two, and. Uh, Fifteen minus fifteen by two minus six to twelve three by two. If we simplify, we will get two 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 four. So one upon four. Five into three fifteen into fifteen fifteen, and root seven. So area of this triangle, and this triangle. If we add, we will get this. But base, this base is two. This base is four. So area of this triangle is to area of this triangle is equal to one is to two. So if we divide this area into three parts, one part will be this area. So divide by three. So this will be five by four. Five by four square root of seven. Now we will get this area by using once again Heron's formula. This is two. This is x. This is four. So this time s is equal to Four plus two plus x by two, which is six plus 
x by 2 so that is equal to therefore area is equal to square root of 6 plus x by 2 minus 2 which is x plus 2 by 2 6 plus x by 2 minus 4 which is x minus 2 by 2 and 6 plus x by 2 itself 6 plus x by 2 minus x will be 6 minus x by 2 and this area is equal to 5 by 4 root 7 that is equal to x square minus 4 6 minus x square divided by 4 because this is 16 square root of this only these two will get cut if we square it we will get let us suppose this x square is y so 25 into 7 is 175 is equal to y minus 4 into 6 minus y which after simplification it will be y square minus 40y this is 36 actually and uh, 144 plus 175 that is equal to plus 319 which is equal to 0 if we simplify we will get y minus 11 y minus 29 which is 0 so y means x square so x square is 11 either or x square is equal to 29 so we are getting x is equal to square root of 11 once again another value x square is equal to 29 which is impossible because if we draw perpendicular from c to this base this height square plus something more than 2 square will be equal to 4 square by Pythagoras theorem if we take x as x square as 29 so this is square plus this is square will never be 29 so that is why this will be rejected so final answer is x is equal to square root of 11 which already we got this value x is square root of 11 that is the answer